Good morning, my brothers and sisters. Today is the day that the Lord has made. You and I can rejoice and be glad in it. Pastor Josh, Grace United Church. And the verse that stuck out in our reading today comes from 1 Corinthians chapter 1, verse 10, which says this, I appeal to you, dear brothers and sisters, by the authority of the Lord Jesus Christ, to live in harmony with one another, let there be no divisions in the church, rather be of one mind, united in thought and by purpose. Here's what I want to talk about today. United by identity. United by identity. You see, what was happening in this particular church is the people in the church were dividing over which leader in the church they followed. So some were saying, I follow Apollos, and some were saying, I follow Cephas or Peter, or some were saying, I follow Paul, right? And that may be a draw to you here at Grace United. Some people in our church, no doubt, say, I follow Bishop, or I follow Joshua, right? And when you do that, when you start dividing over human leaders, division is the result. It is. It's always the result. But Paul says in this letter, he says, listen, did Joshua die for you? Right? Did, uh, did, did Bishop save you? Right? He's, he said, did, did Paul or Apollos or Cephas? Did, did we? No, 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 no. There's one person that did that for you. That's Jesus Christ, Jesus of Nazareth, the Son of the living God. And here's the deal if your identity is found in Him, you will identify with His people, you will bring unity in the body. But if you start identifying, with the things that cause division in the body, then that will be the result. So you will know where you find your identity by what you're doing with the body. Are you causing division or are you causing unity? So let's make sure that we are, we're, not, we're, we're uniting around Jesus and we're not dividing over which leader we find to be a most appealing in the context of the church. Let's take all this and let's turn it back into prayer. Father, we love you, and we thank you that you sent your Son to die for us and to save us. Father, we find our identity in him, and Father, let us show the unity that goes along with that identity. We love you. It's the name of your Son, Jesus, that all of God's people said what? Amen. Hey, God bless you, and God keep you. That's our prayer.